Hey, cookaholic chef Kendra here, and today we are making pineapple chicken. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We're starting off like we always do, sun prep. We have this wrinkled up bell pepper here that's lovely in color, and we're going to go around it with the knife, getting rid of the pith and dodging the seeds. And we're gonna chop it to about this size. Yellow, red, orange, or green works fine. Now we're gonna do the same with the green one. We're also gonna use some scallions or green onions, whatever you prefer to call it. Wash and ready to be chopped. I want a tiny bit of onion flavor, but I don't want onion to overpower the dish. That's why I decided on green onions. Interestingly enough, this is the first batch of green onions in my lifetime to make my eyes water while slicing them. I have this giant bag of ginger because the store I went to didn't sell it loose, but here's a neat trick for slicing ginger that I'm sure is in many of my other videos. Take a regular teaspoon. I have a plastic one here and it still works terrifically. And use it to scrape the skin off the ginger. Why bother? Less waste and it's faster than using a paring knife or a vegetable peeler. Also, something else cool about ginger is that it's easy to freeze so it'll last you for months. Although I have enough ginger now to last me till the sun burns out. Now we're gonna mince up our fresh ginger. We've chopped our chicken into bite-sized pieces, boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs work amazing in this. Y'all know I prefer chicken thighs, but today we're gonna use chicken breasts. Also, we're using canned pineapple in our pineapple chicken. You can use fresh, but you would also need to buy pineapple juice. This is a two for one type of deal, plus chopped canned pineapple is actually good and saves some chopping. We have our chicken chunks in a plastic zip top bag in our bowl. We're gonna sprinkle on some pink sea salt, but regular salt is fine. A bit of dry sherry. peanut oil, some rice vinegar, and some cornstarch. Mix well and set this aside while we prep our sauce. Okay, now for the sauce. We have a bowl and we're adding pineapple juice from the can. One for me. Soy sauce. Rice vinegar. brown sugar, and cornstarch. We'll mix this really well and set it aside until we need it. You know how we do. We're cooking our chicken in a pan over medium heat. This is a non-stick pan and we added oil to the chicken already. Just cook and brown until the chicken is done. Then remove to a plate. Put that same pan back over medium heat and add a little oil to the pan. Add the peppers, scallions, and pineapple to the pan. We're also going to add the ginger. Cook and stir until everything has a nice sheen and just starts to soften. Look at this guys, you know this pineapple chicken dish is going to be good. We have all our stuff ready. Give the sauce one final stir. We're mixing up that cornstarch that fell to the bottom while we were waiting. And pour it into the cooking vegetables.
Reduce heat to medium low. Stir and cook until sauce begins to thicken. Add the chicken back to the pan and mix up the pineapple and chicken in the pan. Yum. Yo, you can find this and other fine recipes at chefkendra.weebly.com. That's chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Hit that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. All right, that's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra is out. Peace.